am thinking. Jamshala or Aishma? Jamshala's main perk is that I still have a lot of extended family living down there. From before the dark. So Aishma it is. <laughs> I would ask you I to love it. Welcome back, everybody, to Hex 4 Foundation. I'm an old guy, Kimmy. And uh, we're picking up right where we left off. We are getting ready to go get in the Boron gunship, the Thresher, and do the next part of uh, the mission here that's going to ultimately lead to... Whoa, look at that. That's cool. Ultimately lead to a highway in Sanctuary of Darkness. So, it wants to come up here. I don't even know what that ship is. And go into here. Uh, request ship from internal storage. We're going to take the thresher out, call it to the dock. Oh, for a minute there I thought I was moving, but it's the dock that's moving. Very cool. I've been watching, I, I watched a couple of videos on the new Boron ships too, and apparently the Barracuda is supposed to be a really, really good fighter, so I'm going to need to uh, take a look at that and do some, some comparison. I don't know how much it costs compared to, to the Nodan. Ah, I see you have engaged the lift. Whoa. Observe how your ship rises majestically from the depths. I thought you said it was a bucket earlier. <laughs> So that's the thresher, huh? That is so cool. Hello there. Hello there. Okay. So Thresher. How do we get up in here? Oh, okay. So it's kind of like the Mako, but got like a little elevator thing, a doodle. Look at that! Very cool. Um. Oh. Okay. Cockpit. Nice. All right, let's take command of this ship. Uh, ship information. Uh, I guess we undock. What I wanted to see is what the uh, turrets are all set to do, but maybe I have to completely undock before. Oh shoot! Pilot, we still need someone to hug the carrier in case the Kaak tries to Okay. Park your ship close to the turret that I have marked on your heads-up display. Fleet, we are commencing our highway tunnel patrol. May I cordially invite you to stay on high alert since we expect a measure of Ka'ak harassment. Is that turret on the other side of the ship? Notice how the carrier seems to drag you along when you are close enough? Yeah, yeah, Convenient, I know. Convenient, is it not? It Where's... allows you to rotate your ship freely so that your turrets can face approaching enemies. Where's this turret I'm supposed to go to? I don't even know where the turrets are on this thing. Um... Okay, hold on. Pause the game. Everybody hold your horses. Okay, so these are all set to attack fighters, which that's all the cock are, so we're good with, to go with that. We also have an ion pulse rail gun, which is kind of like a sniper gun. So I don't know that we'll be able to make good use of that, but I don't think that's what we're supposed to do anyway. Um, but I don't, I, I'm not sure, whoops. I'm not sure where this turret is I'm supposed to park next to. So, let's just get in here. Um, we'll stay close to the, the ship itself. And I'm kind of thinking maybe we do a little bit of third-person action here so we can kind of see the ship do its thing. Um, 
here, let's zoom. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Danger. Zoom out. Well, not that far out. Okay. Maybe right to there. Okay. It's a little little glitchy. Looks like there's another thresher there too, so we're basically just guarding the the carrier here, I suppose. Uh, uh oh, cutscene. That can't be good. Ka -ha. <laughs> I like the way he said that. With gusto. As expected, they are diverting a portion of their forces to investigate our movements. Okay. So let's let our turrets go to town on these guys. All right, you know what? I need to. I kind of need to be in this view to see what the heck's going on. Okay, he's he's toast. Protector. Let's try um, just this view here. So all those hydras are just staying right next to the ship too. Hey, cut that out! How come my dude's not shooting? Oh, now it is. I'm not exactly even sure where the turrets are positioned on this ship. He got wrecked though. Oh, hey, I was going to tell you guys too. Um, I finally, after 100,000 million years, found a flux capacitor. I have I have some footage from that I'll show you later. Uh, but yeah, I found a flux capacitor and so now we can make a set of drive. So that is on the to-do list ASAP. Alright, let's go ahead and stop here and we'll just kind of hang out by the the ship. I'm not uh, I'm not real comfortable, I guess is the word. Uh, fighting in third person in this game just because the controls are just a little bit odd. Um, why don't we... Okay, let's try this. The thing about this view is you can't rotate the camera. You have to get to the other view, but then the ship doesn't kind of stay in a fixed position when you fly. It's just really weird. I'm not saying it's bad per se, I'm just not used to it, so... Okay, let's get here so we can greet these guys when they come in. We cannot tolerate your actions. I hope you're not talking to me. I'm not doing any actions other than fighting enemies. That's right. Let's get that highway going, baby. I'm not worried about the car. I'm worried about the corrosive atmosphere. I mean, this this third person view is not too bad, but you know, if I turn like that, it takes a while for the camera to catch up to it, which is I don't know. It just feels a little weird. But again, not necessarily a bad thing. It's just not something I'm used to. All right, let's go back to first person. Um. Guard. Let's see if we can railgun this bastard. Oh, well, so, <laughs> so much for that. He's already gone. Okay. Alright, we'll get back into this view here. See, I'd like to I'd like to be able to zoom into this view a little bit, but I'm not sure how to do that. Okay. Queen's Guard. Let's see if we can sniper snipe this dude. I don't want to get too far away from the main ship, though. Though I, I, I seriously doubt they've done anything to this main ship to... Did I, did I hit that guy? I'm not so sure I'm hitting him. If 
I am, it's not doing much. Yeah, I have to say, I'm not a fan of this, this weapon here. The turrets are pretty effective on this gu uh, this ship, though. Queen's guard. This weapon sucks, though. Well, I mean, I don't know if I should say it sucks. I'm just not used to it. It's just really slow. Is the thing. All right, let's do a little bit of a boost back to the main ship here. Protector. Yeah, we waxed him. He dead. This is kind of fun. Something different. Twist my flippers. I wonder if I would be this reckless if I had a jump drive like them. Sure, why not? Indeed. I would like to see that. Okay, here comes some more. Protector. Let's see if we can sniper doodle this guy. Some damage to him. I've noticed though that the the cock are not they're they're not as tough as the xenon are. The xenon are quite a bit tougher. Protector. All right, we got another dude on this side. Like all over the place. Queen's guard. We cannot tolerate your actions. Why do they keep saying that? Is, are the turrets like they must be hitting the capital ship? I hope that doesn't piss them off. It's not my fault, man. It's your damn ship anyway. Get into the toe of the big ship here. Well, not quite that close. Now, if I go into this view and I zoom in, that's as far in as I can zoom, and then go back to that view, I don't know if that made any difference or not. I, I don't know how to zoom from this view. I don't think you can, because it's just fixed. Guard. Okay, we got an enemy over this way. Well. Let's get over by the big ship. like one of our other ships just entered the system here. We'll be able to turn that alarm off though once we get the... In fact, you know what? This is terrible timing, but... Do we have a ship 
other than ourselves. Hey, speaking of which, where are my fighters? They must be... They must be docked with our, our nemesis. No, I don't see any more of my ships coming through. Okay, we're good. See, it sounds like they're talking to me and telling me to stop my attack, but... I'm not attacking them! What the hell, man? I think the Hukabo and Tifa Lin or whatever the hell their names are like each other. I just don't want to admit it. Okay, let's chillax here for a bit. See if we have any more enemies come in. It's a cool looking ship, man. Uh, all the Borno ships are cool looking. I guess their destroyer is supposed to be badass too, but they don't they don't have a big um uh they don't have a battleship though. They only have destroyers, that's our largest combat ship. They have carriers though, and they have in fact they have two sizes of carriers. They have a large and an XL, which is cool. I don't know if any other race has a large and XL character or character carrier, but they might. Protector. All right, they're in range. Yeah, I, I don't have the patience for this weapon. Um, I mean it's it's effective, but it's just I don't know, it's just too slow for my for my taste here. I want I want to go blam 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 not blam 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 <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Queen's guard Dead protector. Okay, how much longer do we got to do this? Okay, I'm going to pause the game for a second. Alright, so we're still... We're still doing this. Hopefully it's not too much longer because, I don't know, it's kind of, it's starting to get just a little bit boring, <laughs> to be honest with you. Okay, well, let's just keep going and see what happens. Oh, what did I do? I accidentally hit the wrong button. I was trying to listen to what he said. Something about repairing? Oh, nice! Our teleporter research has uh, gotten to the next level. Uh, and yeah, by the way, I continue the teleporter research. I'm probably going to continue it all the way to the end before I do anything else just because it's so useful. Okay, so I guess we can dock here if we need to repair, but these guys are just not really much of a threat. Wait 
here to some nice, cozy place deep under the sea after these escapades. Yeah, let's get these escapades over with. Hit him that time. Say goodnight, Gracie. There we go. And may I say I am delighted that this is the case. Fleet, may I request that you shoo away the remaining cog to unburden our posteriors? Let's unburden his posterior. Protector. has resulted in new and exciting yet also somewhat worrisome discoveries while we approach the rendezvous point you have the opportunity to dock at the carrier and have your ship automatically repaired. successfully docked all right I'm delighted that you have heeded my call Feast your eyes on this emerging cataclysm. Wait, what are we talking about? Observe the gathering. <laughs> I am truly torn between awe and apprehension. I think we may have uncovered a Ka'ak gathering place. Gathering for what, exactly? I feel compelled to ask. Look, they are warping in and out. Are they planning a mass attack on the highway? And yet, this feels as though we are intruding on something very private. You are suggesting that this location may hold societal value to the Kark. A holy place within their sanctuary. A jump beacon. Is this a ceremony of procreation? Though I concur with your doubts, the military implications of this discovery are undeniable. It pains me to say that we must disperse this congregation, and without delay. Assault the Koch position with your allies. Okay, I guess we're going back. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Commander, I object. Right, let's just do it this way. Okay. So, are we supposed to fly over there uh, or wait for the big ship to get over there? I'm thinking, based upon what he just said, that we might want to stay with the big ship. Let's take a look at the map here. Danger. Wow, that is a lot of enemies. Goodness gracious. Yeah, see all, all the rest of these ships are staying with the Menelaus too, so I think we probably should do the same. It's interesting that their shields are part part way down or all the way down. I wonder if it's from the lightning strikes. You know, I think if I'm docked, my turrets will still docking granted. Will still work. So it basically becomes like just extra turrets on the the ship. Oh shoot! Slow down no, on the ship itself. If that's not the case, or if it doesn't seem to be very effective, then we'll take off again once this party gets started here. Docked. It's going to be kind of hard for us to see what's going on, though, in this view. We can kind of go to that view, but we got that stuff on the top. Um, 
What if I do a shift H? There we go. Okay, get rid of the HUD. Let's also uh, zoom out a bit more too. There we go. That's going to work better. Are we inside their thingy yet? Their radius? Those ships hey, are. We are on the cusp of engaging a dauntingly large school of car. Do not hesitate to dock for your own safety should the need arise. Yeah, I've already got that covered, dude. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. This could be interesting. I hope he keeps that beer cold for me. Here they come. All those other guys are taking them on out there, but you know, my mama didn't raise no dummy. I'm staying back here. <laughs> Can't really see anything from from here. Like, they're all just staying kind of clustered around that big crystal formation thingy. These guys are going to get wasted. We have stirred them up. Yeah, you stirred them up. Okay, here we go. To see if my ship will. Whoa! Little oh, game freezer. Fire its turrets. Yeah, it's firing its turrets. See, we're helping. <laughs> we're, so, we're completely safe, too. Well, as long as the capital ship is safe. This is the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Victory will be mine. Victory will be mine. Hey, don't crash into that big crystal thingy. Uh, hello? Who's driving this ship? Pete's sake. Retain your vigilance. There are still coming. Yeah, let's take a look at the map. Oh, not very many. software. Yeah, we pretty much wiped the floor with these guys. Okay, now it's safe to undock. <laughs> Hey, this isn't cowardice, you guys. This is just smart tactics here. Besides, we took a few of them out. Protector. These crystal things are cool looking. He must be on the other side of this. Danger. Did that guy just run right into the rock? What a dummy. I'm 
must hereby confess I'm virtually worried. Uh-oh, now what's gonna happen? If the car are able to engage their jump drives at a moment's notice, why did these ones fall astern to guard the retreat? A justifiable question indeed, which Oh dear. Uh oh. That was no retreat, was it? This... I may have just received the confirmation that indeed it was not. You're stuck in the While thing here, man. Azure fins, I require all of you to redock at our carrier at once. Okay, you don't have to ask me twice. Docking queued. No, cute. No cues. Let me in first. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Successfully docked. Pressure. Lee, our fellow boron at the construction site have sent word that the Ka'ak are attacking in force. We shall cross the blinding barrier to come to their aid. Oh, do you mind if I get inside first? Oh, shit. How do we get out of here? It probably won't be good for us if we're out on the outside of this thing. Can my dude Reich run any faster? Uh, actually, you know what? We might have to get back out on the ship anyway, so why don't we just stay in here. Woohoo! So I guess the capital vessel can handle the corrosive nebula. Caught unawares. <laughs> this mission's fun, but it's it's just a tad bit on the long side, if you ask me. They've got another. I don't know if that's a car carrier or a couple destroyers, but there's a couple of capital vessels. Still over this way. Look at all the little thrusters on this ship. Our adversaries are on visual. They are attacking the supply transport. All ships, please fan out and provide our allies with relief. Okay. All right, let's get in this fight here. These guys were running away. No further Ka'ak are appearing on our radar. Oh my, a colossal weight has been lifted from my mind. 
Please Whew. let us meet okay. in person for a debriefing. I insist. You insist, huh? Okay. Wah! Clunk. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I think I might have did it in the paint there. Whew. Okay. That was mildly intense. Successfully docked. Welcome again. You wanted to see me? Yes, indeed. I would like to give you my most heartfelt thanks and appreciation for supporting us in this darkest hour. You're welcome. You and everyone else far exceeded my expectations, especially considering the unfortunate turn of events. Of course, I also remember the reward that was mentioned in the official posting. Though, I will need you to restore your temporary ship assignment. You can have it. Um... I hereby... Oh, what was the cock trying to do? You seem dissatisfied. You wanted to see me? He didn't... This doesn't seem dissatisfied as far as I can tell. I was asking him what the cock were trying to do. We do not know the answer to that. Not with any certainty. It seemed, though, as if they had realized that without capital ships, their attacks against our construction operation and our carrier could only serve as a distraction. The true target, therefore, may have always been our supply transports. The Ka'ak may have even deliberately eschewed them in the beginning to make us think of them as mindless drones. Tin Fi Ga has raised such a possibility with me, and I greatly value her loyalty and experience. She also thinks that we forced the Ka'ak into a corner, that they were forced to devise a radical and risky plan despite little prospect of success. Fortunately, events such as these are now a thing of the past. The highway will drastically limit the likelihood of our species interacting in the future. So perhaps we are now safe from them, and they from us. What if they blow up the highway? Um, okay, I'm curious. Why are you dissatisfied? Am I truly that easy to read? Oh well. You see, in the moment, it seemed to me that our attack on the Ka'a Conclave was unavoidable. Though that they were most likely planning an attack even before our intrusion. Kuka Bo assures me that I have done the Queendom proud, and that I made the proper and logical decision. But there remains a lingering doubt, a fear that I have betrayed my conviction for no palpable gain. But please, do not concern yourself with such considerations. There is a victory to be celebrated today. Yeah, I can get that. He's a pacifist. He didn't really feel like attacking him, but... We want the highway, we gotta get it done. And he's right. With the highway in place, there will be less conflicts in the future. Um, <clears throat> anyway, okay. I hereby return my ship. What if I just said one moment, Commander, and then took off and just kept it for the whole rest of the playthrough? Not, <laughs> not that I would, but... Okay, here we go. I never doubted your honesty and trustworthiness. And I am pleased to bestow upon you the due reward for your highly esteemed contributions. But, as I have just been informed, nice. that is not all. Please consider paying a visit to the crew quarters, where someone should be waiting for you. Uh, okay. Go to the crew quarters. We'll catch you around, man. And my eternal gratitude shall accompany you. Talk to your Finn leader. Okay, let's go talk to our Finn leader. Victory! Praise Queen Menelaus! Polyphides? What? What? Twenty-one full years have passed since the late Queen Menelaus concluded her reign. Oh. She apparently forgot that. Okay, let's talk to her. Hello there. Hello. Um, how are you feeling? After that awesome and scary battle, you mean? That's exactly what I mean. Hmm. Relieved, I suppose? We both made it out in one piece, and that is what really counts. I agree. You kept it together well out there, by the way. Did you like my tactic of uh, staying docked on the capital ship? <laughs> um, what are your plans for the future? Well, 
I am going to retire to some nice, cozy... Wait. Did I mention that before? Mm Mm-hmm. Anyway, all this fighting is getting a bit old. Or maybe it is I who is getting old. I didn't say anything. I am thinking... Jamshala or Aishma? Jamshala's main perk is that I still have a lot of extended family living down there. From before the dark. So Aishma it is. <laughs> I would ask you to I love come it. and visit. But you seem so very busy traveling the gate network, right? Well, if you gave me one of those suits for underwater, I'd come visit you. If you have beer anyway. Uh, let's see. Lita, we told me to talk to you. Oh, right. Right. One of my flight members was so impressed by your performance that he asked to join you. He liked my trick of docking or on the capital vessel, huh? he simply wants to grab the opportunity by the trunk and go exploring somewhere other than the provinces. Pardon me. The Queendom. In any case, Lita we has already signed off on the transfer. So turn around and assign your new pilot. Put your new pilot to work. Is that him? Gululu, no. He... He's a three-star pilot. Fantastic. And three-star morale. I hope you like trading, bro. Because <laughs> that's what you're going to be doing. Uh, that's cool. Okay. Um... Think, 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 think. What do I want him to do? We're going to be opening up some more sectors, so we're definitely going to... Uh, hello. Uh, definitely going to need him trading. So, for now... You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put him on a courier and send him up to uh, Vigor Syndicate space to get rep with them because I'd like to... I'd like to get access to the she fighter and if we put him in a small ship he won't make us a ton of money but he'll get the rep really quick so i think that's what we're going to do okay so what we'll do is we'll go to the parented wharf or no the allied wharf rather go to buy ships small and i think we're using the tethys Vanguard. Yeah. Okay. Let me just double check and make sure we got all the stuff on here that we want. Lottie shields. Um, you have two front weapons, huh? Thing is, is I don't, I don't really want them fighting though, so. That looks like all the right software. Okay. Yeah, so let's buy one of these. And we will call this Courier 5. Okay. Add the shopping list. Firm order. And it looks like it's got everything that it needs. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to assign him to Courier 5. And then I'm going to send him up to uh, the, the Windfall, the three Windfall sectors, and have him just start trading like crazy. And I'll just look, I'll have him be based in Windfall 3 and just tell him he can only jump one so he stays in those sectors. And that should bring our rep up with them fairly quickly so that we can get access to the she. Um, so that's my plan with him. And then once that's done, then we'll put him in, you know, into a, a normal, bigger transport and let him go off and make us a bunch more money. Um, we are out of time for this episode. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I think the plan for the next episode is we might do some exploring. Oh, we want to make the set a drive. So definitely going to we're going to have to go back to our 
headquarters to make that because uh, the flux, I didn't pick up the flux capacitor myself. I had one of my ships do it. Oh, and I don't think I showed you the footage for that. So here it is real quick. So we'll go back to the headquarters, we'll make the uh, the set of drive, and then, you know, I want to open up more sectors. Uh, I want to get, probably going to get a, a parented Odysseus E destroyer, um, just because, I mean, I love the rattlesnake, but the range on the, the Odysseus is so much better. I can basically sit back and take out a station or a K and stay out of their range. Um, so I'm thinking about getting, uh, you know, another destroyer and, um, oh, and the other thing is that I want to, I'm going to go back to Argon Prime and take, uh, and visit the, um, the ambassador, a representative and get some blueprints to start. Awaiting orders. Okay. So yeah, let Trader 5 is ready, uh, to start building defense platforms. Uh, which we're going to place in front of uh, Xenon gates and um, start trying to stem the tide. Because if we don't do something, you know, they will eventually start taking over. And they're already, uh, they've already got a, f a bit of a foothold here in the family Jin. Um, and I want to, you know, I don't want that to get out of hand, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So I think the best way to handle that is to, to start building some defense platforms. So those are some things that are coming up, not necessarily in that order, but that is what I have in mind. And then, yeah, so we'll go from there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.